Well, you scared me there. Hey, guys, how's it going? It's Wednesday, and guess what Wednesday is? Whatever the fuck I want it to be. Cha-ching. That's right, bitches. Oh, God, I almost drove off the road. I should probably look that way instead of that way. But, uh, yeah, it's Wednesday. And I'm driving home. Imagine that. Who would have guessed that Matt was going to go home on lunch? Actually, I really need to make this not a thing because it's a lot of wasting gas pretty much driving to and from home on lunch. But, uh, whatever. But anyways, so why, uh, I got to hang out with a fucking adorable puppy dog today. It was awesome. I, uh, <coughs> I'm like 20 feet away from this truck right now. Because it's a dump truck. It's got a whole bunch of fucking gravel in the back of it. And it's all piled up against the door. So I could totally see that if I would have gotten up close, he would have, well, not really punched it because it's a truck and it can't go fast. But, uh. I could totally see him, like, hitting the throttle and having all that gravel just, like, spill all over my car. And then I'd cry. And I would cry some more. But, yeah. So, it's kind of nice. Ohio, Ohio views. Ohio views. I'll give you guys some, some Ohio view to look at, you know. I'm sorry if the... If everything's blurry, I can't really tell being as the camera is facing away from me. But, uh, but yeah, it's this, this is the kind of shit that I drive by every day. Every day. Hey, hey. It's pretty nice for being an Ohio day. I'm doing 55 in a 50 mile per hour. I'm holding the phone, which is also illegal. Uh, but, yeah. So, I went on a smoke break this morning, and after I got out of my car, there was a dog running around our parking lot, and then when I came in from smoke break, the dog followed me into work, and which, I mean, we've had dogs inside of our building before. My boss has brought his dog in and stuff like that, so it's not really like it's a big deal to have a dog in our factory, but, uh, but obviously it was nobody's dog, and it was running in our factory. But it was super friendly, just a little puppy, adorable, and he fucking loved me, which is awesome, because, like, fucking loved him. So, my boss tied him up on a post next to where I was working until the owner could come and get him. So, I got to chill and hang out with a baby puppy for an hour or so before the owner then came and got him. So, that was cool. That was a little bit of an excitement added on to uh, my already not so exciting day because uh, I'm at work and I'm doing nothing but working. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Hold up one moment. Sorry, I don't mean to be eating and talking at the same time because I know that is very not whatever manners wise but uh I'm one of those people that's very anti-driving and texting or talking on the phone I don't text when I drive I don't answer phone calls when I'm driving just because a lot of people do fucking die doing that shit nowadays fucking drive by 95% of the people in their cars and you can tell they're on their fucking cell phone. So it's just like people are so dangerous nowadays. I'm not trying to die to send somebody a text that says hi or something like that. Like, nah, you can fucking wait until I stop driving. Now I'll say hi to you. And so, so that way I don't die. But, uh, or worse, that survive and kill somebody else because that would be even that would be terrible, but, uh, but the ironic part is the fact that I eat and drive, and most, and that's illegal as well, and most people are always, like, call me a hypocrite, but, like, I feel like eating and texting are two completely different things, because watch, this, you just saw me eat, I'm keeping my eyes on the road, 
I put my hands down, I grab the next piece, and now I'm holding it. I never even had to look to see what I was doing. So how is that unsafe? Secondly, if I was really going to crash, or if I had happened to look down to grab that piece or whatever, and I looked up, obviously it could be the last minute kind of, but some people are holding their phones, and then they're about to get into a wreck, and they go, oh my god, what do I do? And then they just grab the steering wheel and hold on to their phone, and then they wreck. Like their phone in their hand, because they don't, their phone's so important to everybody nowadays that no one thinks of dropping it. So, it's like, I had a hamburger in my hand, and it was like, holy shit, I'm gonna wreck? I just fucking dropped the hamburger. You know, like, who gives a shit about food? Well, I mean, I dropped my phone as well if it was that, but I don't use my phone. So, I don't know. I guess I could, I'm either hypocritical because I eat and drive. And that is as best texting driving, or I'm not. I can just do what's easy in life. Now I gotta go inside my house and talk to my mama's son about my stupid healthcare.gov bullshit. And I'm gonna get back into my fucking car and drive all the way back to work. What fun. No, maybe if you, some of you out there don't know, but I have a godson. He is the most amazing and beautiful child I've ever seen in my life. I love him like he was my own child. Obviously, he is my godson, so I kind of have to. Well, I mean, I don't have to, but you know what I'm saying. Like, if I was chosen by my bestest friend and his wife to possibly take care of their child if there was ever a sense of something bad to happen. Charlie! Hi, puppy! So I take pride in that. But my mom watches him during the day while his parents are at work. Because that's what she does with her life. I mean, that's what she's done her whole life. And, uh... So whenever I stop home... On lunch breaks, before I have to end up leaving and going right back, pretty much... Always make sure to run in. Hang out with him. Plus another little baby named Mason, which is also adorable. And, uh, I'm gonna kick it with them for a little bit. That's what I just did, and now I'm, now I'm about to go back to work, but now I'm in the garage. What could I be doing in here? Now I'm running back inside my house because I gotta grab something I need to show all of you, and then we're back to work. Alright, so, I, uh, I told you guys about these a while ago, a long fucking while ago. And uh, I kept forgetting about it, kind of. And, uh, but I have, like, I had, I wanted to have some form of a purpose behind it. Now that I got one, it's the absolute perfect time to reveal. Um, kind of, you know. But, uh, I told you guys that I bought shirts. And, uh, you know, just simple shirts are plain. They have nothing on it. You know, I just want you guys to buy them. No, totally joking. They are shirts that they say stuff on them. And, uh, it only, only have one size, one shirt. But, it's not to say that it isn't going to change. Eventually here, I just, it's just what I had to start with. But, uh. I purchased a shirt, and I think they're like uh, 15 bucks. I think that's how much I would have sold them for. I had a very, very small profit margin on it, but it was just the fact that I wanted to do it really badly. But instead, the way I'm going to do it now is so if you go to my Extra Life charity page, um, that will be in the description if you guys would be fine with the donating. They, uh, they don't, they don't give you stuff. And, like, I'm not trying to say I, I need something, because I don't. I actually like that they don't give you stuff. Um, charities should not be a, a competition of donate the most money and win this trip or, you know, whatever the fuck it people do with that shit. 
because then it's just like, isn't that kind of ruining like the point? You're supposed to be doing it because you care and you actually want to like help make money for people. But then you got these people out there that you can tell that literally just push it because they want the stuff. So it's like, yeah, I guess they're still raising money. So it's still a good thing, but it's like you, their heart's not in it. So it's kind of like, I don't know. I, I don't really like it. But regardless, so all Extra Life does, they'll give you a shirt. So if you participate, which I've participated the last four years, I've gotten four shirts. So, you know, that's all that they do. But they do nothing else when it comes to, like, gaining stuff from uh, from donating money. And, uh, sorry, I'm waiting for traffic. But some people, a lot of people that do the actual fundraising pages ourselves, like the people that we are all involved in the program, they always end up getting something or doing something that allows you to retrieve something, you know, kind of like, hey, donate this money and you get this. Not like donate the money so you get that, but it's just an incentive as like, hey, I love you and I would like to give this to you because I appreciate the fact that you gave your money. Now, the money system on there works in the fact of like, I think the smallest amount you can give is like 10 or 15 bucks and then like it's 20 or 25. And so, uh, I don't want to do it for the cheapest one because I think it's 10 bucks and at 10 bucks in theory, you know, that's still donating. I'm not saying I'm not, I wouldn't be fucking happy with if everybody donated just ten dollars, I mean, I'd be ecstatic by that. <coughs> but I'm going to make it so that the second tier down, because obviously it will tell me who donates and how much you donated. That's my page. So the person who do or well, any person who donates the second tier donation, which is like I said, I'm pretty sure it's like twenty or twenty five dollars. I'm gonna throw in my shirt and mail my shirt to you. Maybe you want the shirt, maybe you don't, but it's just the way things are going to work out from now on because I want these shirts to get out somehow and, uh, and I wanted to do something when it came to extra life anyways. So uh, these are the shirts that I, I purchased. They say, I heart Matt Freeman vlogs and uh and then the back of it just says my name. So, you know, nothing super fucking crazy. You know, they're they're not the they're not the most like, I don't know, they're not shitty like shirts, but they're not also like polo material, you know, they're they're just shirts. But at the same time I I wanted to make sure that the shirt quality itself was good. I went through, man, I did, I did some fucking work, dude. I went through, like, 17 different fucking companies online that all made shirts. Funny enough, I contacted, uh, there's a company in my town, my hometown, that makes shirts for fucking every sporting team in Ohio, pretty much. So, like, they're real big, they're kind of, like, famous, I guess, in a sense. Uh emailed them obviously you know I wasn't looking for fucking hundreds of shirts but I told them like it's one of those things where I'd order like you know 20 shirts at first or something and then you know if, if, if it you know everything went well then it could be more never even got an email back it was like oh that was nice so went through all these different companies had actually like there's about six companies out of all of them they actually would send you samples just of the shirt materials. And so I went with those. They got all the materials sent to my house. And then I, uh, I picked the shirt that I have now. Because like I said, it's not like super comfortable, like polo fancy material. But at that same time, it's not... Like, I went to the store and bought some, like, fucking $5 bag of shirts. Like, they were some nice shirts. So, that's what we're going to do. No one donates that. That's fine, whatever. It was just my little idea of an incentive form kind of thing. 
So uh, I'm going to go, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, a like would be much appreciated. And uh, if you're new to the channel, you should subscribe to keep up with awesome content that sometimes can be daily. I'm going to hit this old man because he decided to stop 18 feet before the fucking red light. Let's go. I was giving you the, the time to go, but he decided not to go. Uh, 